<laughs> oh, oh, I gotta lay down. Chad, I don't know how you're gonna get under that. What? It's like the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> Left Key West. Yes. Boom. It's sad, but we're not Boom. leaving the keys yet. This is true. So it's not as sad as it normally is when we leave Key West. <laughs> so we're just heading one hour, I guess, east. East. Yeah. Sort of north. Ish. Mostly, mostly east. Northeast ish. Keys, we're going to Curry Hammock State Park in Marathon, Florida. We've driven through Marathon yeah. Key many times. We've never stayed on Marathon Key. Yeah. So this will be all new explorations for us. Right. If you saw our Miami Everglades video, you saw us take a ride to Curry Hammock State Park just to check it out to see where we would be staying now. Scouting. It's the future now. Scouting report. Yeah, and we're looking forward to our site because it's right on the Atlantic and hopefully we can put the patio down. It's kind of a gross day, but at least it stopped raining for us. Yeah. We're a little tired because the neighbors that came in last night at Boyd's were Assholes. very inconsiderate. <laughs> you know, those neighbors that show up and they're loud and they have no regard for I think, rules. I think everybody's RV is soundproof, so they can just talk out loud and, hey, I mean, you want me to pick up some Mountain Dew? Yeah, they, they were yelling at each other just to communicate. Yelling people at like 1 a.m. Yeah. No fun. They made up for it this morning with screaming kids, which is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And since we spent a lot of money in Key West and at Boyd's campground, we we lucked out and got a site at Curry Hammock State Park. How much room do I have on the left hand side? Trying to wake up from a dream. not easy to get a reservation there. It's not easy at all. I mean, we've been trying now for months to get something for this December, and I don't think it's gonna happen. No. So, if you wanna book that park, just beware that, you know, you need to keep checking. Running careless down the line. You can make reservations up to one year in advance, and a lot of people do it, so it's still very difficult even a year in advance. Curry Hammock State Park doesn't have sewer connections, but we had water and 50 amp. Yeah, like a lot of state parks. We got a site on the water. Our site number 19 oh. was just smack dab on the water, put the patio down, and Atlantic Ocean. And it was $38 a night. Yeah. It's a small campground. There's only 25 sites there, which is probably one of the reasons why it's so difficult to get a reservation. Yeah. You can go there just for the day, or they have kayaks you can rent. Paddle boards too, I believe. Mm -hmm. Little park with a playground on the beach. While you're watching this video, be sure to click that subscribe button. If you want to get notified when our videos come out, you gotta click the bell. Sorry, 
So we did rent a kayak while we were there. Do we have small ones? Medium, little slash large, let me see. Sweet. Youth. Perfect. You're very youthful. Matches my outfit. <laughs> One thing that you can do at Curry Hammock State Park, whether you're staying here or not, is to rent uh, stand-up paddle boards or kayaks. Single kayaks, double kayaks, paddle boards, boom. And we haven't done any kind of kayaking or doing in a while, and we thought, wow, this is like... A better place to do it. Yeah, so we don't know what to expect, but could we rented it for two hours, no, two and a half hours, but they kind of rounded up, so we have it almost for free. Yeah, 21 bucks for uh, two hours. Yeah. For a double kayak or right. for a paddle board. Right. Apparently we can just kind of canoe all the way around the little key that we're on, so let's check it out. Yeah, this was one of our little lunchtime getaways where yeah. we just broke away from work. Go kayaking around a key for lunch, why yeah, not? Yeah, it was a really cool thing. We weren't quite sure what to expect, and you launch right there at the boat launch in the park, and you go through and you kind of meander through the mangroves, which was a really cool yet creepy and weird thing. Yeah, it was really cool. Mm -hmm. Creepy back here, huh? Yeah. You can hear US-1. Yeah. Hello! Hello! Well, it's really narrow here. I don't know if you can tell by the... Wow! How narrow this is, but this is pretty cool. It almost looks like a fake Disney boat ride. Yeah. It's neat though. It's right there. We're gonna have to duck. <laughs> there we go. Watch your face. Oh. Oh jeez. Oh. Oh. <laughs> How do we get under here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I gotta lay down. Chad, I don't know how you're gonna get under that. It's like the Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be really peaceful back here if it wasn't for all the traffic noise from US 1. I don't know. I, I don't know. Oh, what was that? Huh? What was that noise? Watch your sticks there. Do you think that there are gators this close to in the ocean? How do you like paddling a kayak versus a canoe? I like the kayak motion, but every time I dip the other direction, the water splashes on me. This is uh, interesting. Oh, man. No. Oh. <laughs> this is a nice lunch break. It's been a while since we've had a good, a good lunch break paddle adventure. That's right. We haven't even seen even a single bird. Well, there's some birds. Where? Ah! Ah! Just interrupted the bird party. <laughs> Paddling around this key, you go through the mangroves up by US-1 and then back out to like a little bay and then back out to the Atlantic again. Mm -hmm. Do you think that these little star-shaped things are the same thing? Oh yeah, I think you're right.
under its butt. <laughs> That's good, babe. Did you like it? That was nice. It's fun. Yeah. It's so pretty out here today. Yeah. It's 70 and sunny. I like the mangroves part the best. Yeah, the little mangrove tunnel is yeah. pretty cool back there. We did have a few days where it was super windy, mm -hmm. which the kite surfers loved. Yeah, the kite surfers were really digging it out there because mm -hmm. they can launch right there at the state park. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got a free show. So I think this is gonna be the last chance that we get for a little while to get on the motorcycle because the next two days in Marathon Key are gonna be stormy and windy. And then we hit the road. Going north. We went on another ride, got lots of beautiful footage, all through a very smudged lens. I think <laughs> it's my fault. Booger right in the lens. Yeah, I wiped my nose on it. <laughs> so, didn't get a lot of great footage. So, we're just gonna leave here and we're just gonna go across Seven Mile Bridge. Yeah. So, hit the road. Let's hit it. <laughs> to take you guys over Seven Mile Bridge. We essentially did that and then turned around because we were hungry, of course. Makes it a 14 mile bridge. It does, it's a 14 mile <laughs> bridge.
tried to get the bike into Bahia Honda State Park because we actually were really interested in looking at the campground there. We wanted to check it out, but we didn't want to pay 10 bucks mm -hmm. just to drive through it. We didn't get to do that, so you're not going to get to see the campground there, but maybe many of you have been there before, so let us know if it's any good. Yeah. did take a ride over to a restaurant, a place called Burdines. Our friend Kelly said, you guys gotta check it out. She warned us that we kind of have to drive through a neighborhood that doesn't really look like there's gonna be a decent restaurant back in it, but she was right. But we got there and it was a really cool spot. Right on a canal that leads out to the Atlantic, but it faces west. You have a great view of the sunset up on a high deck, which is yeah. really nice. balcony and right on the water. Yeah. And it's not yeah. fancy. Yeah. Stop it. Why do you do that? Why? I'm not expecting it. It's recording, but I know. So what's going on? You wanna talk? <laughs> I'm gonna start the time lapse now. <laughs> We're headed to a pub with no name. It's well, called the No Name Pub. Technically, it has a name. The name is No Name. It's kind of a circular reference, isn't it? Oh. It's one me. One me. <laughs> it smells a low tide or something. I don't know. Sometimes US 1 down in the Keys doesn't smell so good. I don't smell anything, but I have no sense of smell. So. That's, trust me. So we're on Seven Mile Bridge. Yeah, it's true. We were supposed to be on a motorcycle ride doing this today, but... It's too cold. It's kind of my fault. <laughs> I wasn't feeling the greatest. I think we were both feeling a little lazy. Yeah. And didn't really feel like bundling up because it's... It's 70. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's 70 now, but it's going to be in the 60s. Yeah, and it feels a little colder, especially going over like Seven Mile Bridge and stuff. So we just decided to take the truck. We've been to the No Name Pub a couple of times, and if we've got a couple of dollars with a yeah C heart T no. yeah no T heart C Chara oh, that's right Chara Chad <laughs> plus Tara it was either Chara or Tard and 
We went with Tara. Yeah, so so the kind of the theme behind this place, which we'll show you, is dollar bills everywhere. There are dollar bills hanging all over the place, and then somewhere in there is our dollar bill. Yeah. It's on the Big Pine Key. It's about 40 minutes or so from Curry Hammock. Yeah, it's really in the middle of nowhere. You have to be looking for this place to find it because it's not on US 1. In fact, it's way off, down weird side streets. Yes. And you have to watch out for the key deer, the little tiny deer. Yes. We were going to stop at the, the National Key Deer Refuge on the way, but I guess they closed before. So we missed out on that too. No motorcycle ride, no National Key Deer Refuge. I guess we're just going to have pizza and beer. So. Nothing wrong with that. One of the coolest places in the Keys. We think. It's just one of those things that you don't know about unless somebody tells you. It's off the beaten path. The entire place is decorated with dollar bills. Everywhere. But we've been there a few times mm -hmm. and we have a few dollars mm -hmm. on that ceiling somewhere. Yeah, but we couldn't prove it because there's no way we'd be able to find them. Uh, it's impossible. It's kind of like the truck. Let's climb, climb up on your stool, little girl. Yes. Your little bar stool. Yeah. Delicious pizza. Mm -hmm. Delicious awesome. pizza. I broke my no gluten rule for this pizza <laughs> and it was worth it. While you're driving back there, be aware that the key deer are all over the place. Cute little deer. They're tiny little deer. They're maybe about the size of a Great Dane. Oh, there's another one up there. Mm -hmm. There's two of them up here. Three of them. Holy crap, they are. They, oh, four. Look at that. One, two, three, four. Hi, guys. So cute. Oh, this of. one's big. I'm the daddy. Daddy. He's got the full on antlers. You just chopping out some grass? <laughs> you just hang out? And out at night. Street walkers. They're just kind of like hang out in the neighborhood. And, mm -hmm. and they're just residents here. That's kind of fat one. You fat. After our amazing few weeks in the Keys, we had some much needed downtime and family time. Mm -hmm. So the next time that you see us in a location, it's actually going to be New Orleans. Louisiana. Yes. Stay tuned for outtakes at the end. A shout out to the Dolphin Research Center. Thanks for not letting us film there. <laughs> We wanted to go for ourselves, but of course we were going to take you along with us. And we reached out to them and they said, we're going to have to pass. Yeah. So we thought we're just going to have to pass and coming to visit. <laughs> yeah. It is there. If you've got kids and stuff, I'm sure it's great. And maybe they thought we were soliciting for something. I don't know. We were told by our friends, Randy and Bree, that it is an awesome experience. Yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to check it out. So subscribe, click the bell. Check out our website, changinglanesrv.com. Follow us on social media. Instagram, Twitter, all those things. And click the like button. That helps us out. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Now okay. you're like right here versus. Okay, exaggeration much. Hey, babe, come on, let's get this done. <laughs> killing me, Smalls. You're killing me, Smalls. If you don't like it, too bad. That's not gonna make the cut. <laughs> Morning, because you can, I gonna just start that whole thing over. Um, oh, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> People comment, this is off the topic, sorry. People you know, comment. I love off topic conversation. <laughs> you kill me, Smalls. I haven't worn high heels in years. Neither have I. Yeah, well. <laughs> oh, we are Screw you guys. Hey guys, I'm going home. Hold on. What the hell's the matter with you? It's gonna wake up. I can't wake up today. Well, we're almost done. I know, but I want to be awake for this part. Don't wipe your face on the hand towel. It's a dish towel. It's just, I'm not getting it dirty. <sighs> Living with a boy's hard. <laughs> Stay tuned for outtakes at the end. At the end? No. Chad. <laughs> Sorry. Chad, you're really being uncooperative today. Okay, do it again. Dare I do it again? I won't, or are you say, gonna anything. Be I won't say anything. Go.